SpaceX may have finally fixed the Starship's booster engine issues that led to the failure of its inaugural test flight. The company plans to implement several critical improvements to the reliability and performance of the craft before its imminent second test flight. Stay tuned as we take a look at what caused the Starship's initial downfall and how SpaceX plans to turn things around. Can the Starship finally reach orbit this time? And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to support us by subscribing. It makes all the difference to us. After its first orbital test flight went up in flames, SpaceX has identified a host of problems that plague the Starship. The company is now working on making more than 1,000 improvements to the spacecraft before its next big adventure. One of the main things they're focusing on is the Starship's engine. Recently, Elon Musk revealed that the company has come up with a new solution to these engine issues, which will hopefully ensure the success of the craft's next test flight. Developing a rocket is a tough and complicated task, and one of the biggest challenges lies in creating the engine. The engine is what drives the rocket forward and plays a vital role in its success. In the very first launch, some of the engines experienced a loss of power. This issue occurred right after the rocket started to leave the launch pad and before it could gain enough speed to reach orbit. Elon Musk explained this problem by saying that in the initial flight, they used a mix of engines that were built at different times. He described it as a hodgepodge, meaning a collection of things that didn't quite fit together. However, it's worth noting that SpaceX has shown remarkable speed and skill in manufacturing and improving the Raptor engines. They are constantly working to enhance their capabilities. Since its initial introduction in February 2018, SpaceX has made significant progress in producing Raptor engines. They were able to manufacture the first 100 Raptor 1 engines in about 36 months. However, in just the first 11 to 12 months of Raptor 2 production, SpaceX has already delivered 200 engines. This demonstrates an impressive increase in output, exceeding six times the average production rate. In fact, the actual number is even higher. Eventually, SpaceX achieved a consistent production rate of seven Raptor 2 engines per week. As a result, the Booster 7 was able to be equipped with the earliest built Raptor engines, a noteworthy accomplishment. Naturally, as the Raptor engine develops and undergoes continuous improvements, newer versions may provide better performance in terms of thrust efficiency or reliability. However, if a combination of engines with different performance characteristics is used, it could result in variations in overall vehicle performance. This could include issues like thrust imbalances or disparities in fuel consumption. Moreover, integrating these engines brings about risks during simultaneous testing, maintenance, and component replacements. Although Booster 7 was unfortunately destroyed, if it had been successful, it would still face limitations due to the utilization of engines produced at different times. This situation necessitates that SpaceX addresses these challenges to ensure the stable reusability of the booster. During Elon Musk's discussion about the enhancements made between Booster 7 and Booster 9, he highlighted that there were numerous significant changes, amounting to hundreds of improvements. One notable advancement was the transition from hydraulic thrust vector control to electric control, which greatly enhances the rocket's maneuverability and control. In preparation for the upcoming test flight, Elon has indicated that they will implement changes to expedite engine ignition and speed up the liftoff process. Musk stated, for the next flight, we're going to start the engines faster and get off the pad faster. Previously, the duration from engine start to starship movement took around five seconds, which was a relatively long time for the launch pad to be exposed to the engine thrust. The goal is to reduce this time by half, aiming for a quicker transition from the engine startup to the starship moving away from the pad. To achieve a faster ascent, the flight configuration will be modified to increase the thruster rate ratio of the rocket. This modification will enable a more rapid climb into space. Another significant change Elon Musk emphasized was related to the Raptor engines. He compared the engines on the final Starship rocket to ovens that require meticulous construction and rigorous testing spanning over a year. One crucial component he discussed is the hot air duct which plays a vital role in transferring fuel-rich gas to the main chamber. The hot gas manifold in the Raptor engines refers to a network of pipes or channels that transport and distribute the hot combustion gases from the combustion chamber to various engine components. It is responsible for directing the high-pressure, high-temperature gases to drive the turbine, power the propellant pumps, 
and provide thrust. The hot gas manifold is carefully engineered to withstand the extreme conditions of combustion and ensure the engine operates reliably. Musk acknowledged that the hot air duct is arguably the most hazardous component of the engine due to the potential for hot methane-rich gas leaks through the bolt holes of the fuel line. To tackle this concern, SpaceX has implemented improvements to the design of the hot air duct. They have enhanced its construction and increased the torque on the bolts, aiming to reduce the risk of hot air fuel leaks, especially under high pressure. This modification is considered one of the notable advancements made between the previous Starship flight and the upcoming one. By addressing this critical issue, SpaceX is taking significant steps to enhance the safety and reliability of the engine for the next launch. Additionally, it is essential to recognize the distinctive components of the Raptor engine that have played a significant role in establishing it as one of the most potent rocket engines ever created. The Starship incorporates an impressive array of 33 Raptor engines, all integrated beneath a single thrust structure. This makes it the most engine-rich booster ever constructed. The design and construction of the Raptor engines have enabled them to achieve exceptional performance and reliability. Their innovative features and advanced technology have propelled them to become a powerhouse in the industry. These engines have consistently set new benchmarks, showcasing their capabilities and pushing the boundaries of what rocket engines can achieve. But what makes this engine so unique? Well, the Raptor engine is composed of several critical components. One notable element is the gimbal mechanism, which enables the engine to steer during launch and landing. The gimbal mechanism allows for up to 15 degrees of angling on the XYZ axis, greatly enhancing maneuverability. The engine also incorporates pumps, including an inducer and an impeller stage. These pumps facilitate the flow of oxidizers and fuel. The oxidizer, typically liquid oxygen, enters through an inlet pipe and passes through a pre-burner, which is a small rocket engine integrated into the power head. Here, a controlled amount of methane fuel is introduced through a cross-connection, igniting the mixture. The primary purpose of the pre-burner is to convert the oxidizer from a liquid to a gaseous state. To harness the energy generated by the pre-burner, a turbine is employed. The pressurized exhaust from the pre-burner spins the turbine, which in turn powers the inducer and impeller stages of the pump. This process ensures a steady flow of oxidizer and fuel to the engine for combustion. An interesting aspect of SpaceX's approach is the integration of an external mechanism into the launch mount. This mechanism is used to initiate the rotation of all gas turbines simultaneously, showcasing the company's dedication to simplification and optimization. The gaseous oxidizer, after being converted from a liquid to a gas in the pre-burner, flows into the fuel injector. Simultaneously, methane is fed into a separate methane powerhead. A swirl injection system is employed to combine the two hot gases and direct them into the combustion chamber. Maintaining a straight vertical path for the flow of oxidizer is crucial, as approximately 78% of the combustion is fueled by the oxidizer. To achieve this, numerous small holes are drilled into the oxidizer pipe. These holes allow the methane to enter through the side of the pipe, creating a swirling motion and ensuring the straight flow of the oxidizer. When dealing with a significant number of engines closely packed together, thermal management becomes a critical consideration particularly in the harsh conditions encountered beyond Earth. Therefore, the components of the Raptor engine are primarily constructed using a special alloy known as SX500. This alloy is a unique blend of copper, aluminum, and steel, chosen for its exceptional properties. The SX500 alloy provides outstanding strength, high temperature resistance, and oxidation resistance. It empowers the engine to withstand pressures of up to 12,000 PSI and endure the extremely hot, oxygen-rich gas flowing through it. The exceptional properties of the SX500 alloy ensure the durability and reliability of the Raptor engine even in the face of intense heat and demanding operational conditions. By employing the SX500 alloy, SpaceX can effectively tackle the thermal challenges that arise from clustering engines closely together. Up to this point, the Raptor engine has shown consistent stability in both production and operational capabilities. SpaceX is continuously working on enhancing its thrust capabilities with ongoing developments for the Raptor 3 engine.
The Raptor 3 is set to feature the world's most powerful high-pressure combustion chamber, further solidifying the engine's position as a cutting-edge technology in the realm of rocket engines. However, for the upcoming test, Raptor 3 is not currently a viable option. Although it offers impressive advancements, it requires multiple launches to thoroughly evaluate its reusability and reliability. While SpaceX has put in a lot of effort to improve the Starship, these changes do not guarantee that the rocket will finally succeed in its next test flight. What do you think? Are the Starship's current engines good enough to achieve orbit? Or should SpaceX wait for the new Raptor 3 to ensure success? Be sure to share your thoughts in the comments below.